Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is a video for the Divine Masculines, okay, current energy. So let's get into it. I've done a, a Divine Feminine reading just now, so check that one out. Thank you so much everyone for commenting, for likes and subscribing, sharing your true feelings in the comments and helping me not one another. It means a lot, it really does. Guys, if you want to know if you're a divine feminine or like a soulmate or a karmic, you want to know which role you play in the twin flame journey, please email me. I answer those questions for free. Mind you, you need to send a sufficient story. It doesn't need to be long. Details are important, um, but not necessary, though zodiac signs of everyone involved is necessary, okay? And you just do that, and I'll reply to you within the same day, and I'll let you know throw in a little piece of advice and if you want to go further then the rates apply okay so please let me know okay there's no point in, in in questioning yourself every day you just delay yourself everybody has a twin flame journey that they should or are a part of and you know it's it's good to um tap into that okay and be a, and be certain all right for some reason the eight of cups wants to keep coming out and then it, again it came out with the star card okay for the divine masculine so let's just get right into it cards are pre-shuffled guys if you want to book a personal reading, look at the uh, description box below. Ready? Knight of Pentacles. Jeez. For the, okay. The Nine of Swords. The Six of Cups. Uh, the Six of Wands. The World Card. And the Queen of Cups. That's cute. And then the Hermit at the bottom. Okay, so <laughs> it looks like, this is cute. I'm excited. As the Divine Feminine came out, I was actually, let me just say this really quick. I was actually making another video for the Divine Feminines because I thought that reading was a little narrow and it was maybe for like three people out there. I felt that. And then so I did another reading and uh, four of the same cards came out for the Divine Feminine again with this one being the first one. So the one that I put up, this was the first card energy and I didn't put up the other one. I just kind of deleted the video because it was kind of repetitive, honestly. And now he's coming out with this. So it's really, it's interesting. Um, and you know, we know that we have the queen of cups. So yeah, with this knight of pentacles coming first, it just looks like we're both putting in tiny efforts into our, um, completion. I say completion here because the world card is here. Um, though he comes next with the nine of swords. It's like he jumps right to understanding that, damn, that didn't work. Okay. Uh, my efforts still didn't work, but it's not even that. I think he, he's he's home and he's like, God, like, how can I live these two lives? One where I know that I want to be out of here and then the one where I got to come back and know that, wow, I literally just kind of like plotted all day on how to get the fuck out of here and I'm back here saying, hey, honey, hey, babe. It just hurts when you know that you're living a double life, especially when you have a family involved. You're just kind of like feeling like you're cheating your life, cheating your family. And I feel like that's how he feels. Um, I don't feel like that has to do with anything else but that. Like, you know, and it's like, I don't even think he's like super, look, I don't even think he's like super, you know, uh, acknowledging like all the pretty stuff, the fluffed pillows, you know, the rosemary or something spritzed on the sheets. I mean, like he just doesn't even care. His silk white robe or whatever with the matching names engraved and things, you know, embroidered. Like, I just feel like he's kind of spoiled but he doesn't even care he's like working on you know being with someone else being with the divine feminine and i say that because the six of cups you know i believe he's like dreaming this is him in real life you know having to like go through time you know and it's like it's almost like it's dinosaur ages to him now <laughs> um like it's so long ago and it's like he has to he's like waking up in the middle of the night because he's thinking about you imagine how tough that is imagine how um taunting it's like haunting for him to be able to like go to work each day and put his little bit of coin in his bank account he's like got 200 300 400 you know and it's like he wants a mill it's like it's so far and he's like god you know my efforts it's like you know you want to wish for him the wish card is not here oh but it came out remember that's the cards i wanted to come out and with the Eight of Cups, he wants to walk away from where he is and go to his wish fulfillment, which is you. And it's like, this is what he keeps dreaming about. And it's like, there is like a permanent X here. And I do believe it's because he's not supposed to think about it. It's like, oh, if the love is so right, why is it so wrong? That whole whatever thing that's in songs and movies. But it's so right. But it's people say it's so wrong because it's like people are scared and 
whatever people think love is about a religion, like people don't want to believe in it, but it's like he believes in it, but he has to keep walking away from this love that he knows is pure and, 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 and good that, you know, somebody marked this to be evil. And anyway, though, he keeps dreaming about this and it's somewhat a dream. It's somewhat a nightmare. It's bittersweet. It's like, you know what I mean? And uh, he's walking away with that wand. He's walking away with that wand there. So he could be with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, but he's walking away um, back to, let's say, uh, his stability still. Okay, he's a soldier. He's he's a stiff, maybe. You know, he's somebody who has it going on, but he, you know, somebody would look at him and think he had everything going on right, but they would never guess that he had these, like, dreams that were haunting him all the time, someone that he loves that he just can't be with. The Six of Wands. So that tells me when he goes back, he's very he's very acknowledged. He's very praised. He's like the James Bond, the Leonardo DiCaprio, or like freaking someone like so, so, oh my God, acknowledged. Like, oh my God, because he's handsome and everything, but because he's with this woman that maybe the main people around them cheering them on are her friends and her family or people who've been with them from the beginning. You know, who knows that their attachment and their ties with this family, especially the, the person they're with, but then he goes back to being acknowledged. You know, at one point, this was something that was like, whoa, I'm never going to leave. This is a, literally a movie come true. Like, bump the dreams, bump what I feel. I mean, to an extent. But I think, like, at this point, it's like it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. You know, he sees the truth and it's like it doesn't thrill him anymore. Those Oreo cookies or like those those chocolate chip cookies. I say that because of the movie Bedazzled. He like sold, he, he was going to sell his soul to the devil to be with somebody and then, like, he loved the crowd cheering him on because he was this, like, loser, right? And then after a while, he saw the people in the party as not these sexy women or these, like, true people. They, they were ghouls and goblins. So I believe, like, now that he's, you know, turning these people into ghouls and goblins and trolls, but it's like he doesn't really care, or I don't think, more so about this these people cheering him on. He might he might be uh, fooling them and, like, okay, yeah, hey, hey, you cheering me on. I'm actually going to the Divine Feminine's house. And the horse knows his strength. His strength is there. He's like strong. Okay. But he's sincere. He's not trying to be evil. He just knows that, look, I've got, I've got love. I've got passion. I've got strength. I've got my money. I've got my abundance. Okay. Blue skies. My divine is guiding me towards. Okay. And I'm, that's where I'm going. These people may not even know that. The world card. Completing cycles, accomplishment, maybe even moving. He may be moving um, at, to, to get away from her. They could be, uh, you know, living across the country or what have you. But, like, this is completing a cycle. Whether they're moving or not, it's like understanding who you are, what your fate is, your destiny, and who you love, and just going for that. And not, and not putting it in a devil or a negative dark energy just because you're in love with somebody that maybe someone else is in love with you or you once had a love. It doesn't have to be that serious. People move on. You know what I mean? But it's like if, if there's something that you know you're supposed to be doing, yes, it's true that your divine, your spirit guides, God can put a task on your life. He's supposed to put tasks in your life. You're just passing through. When you understand that, you can complete and accomplish. You need It's human growth and development is one of the most important things of life. How else will you make the world go round? So don't be in fixed energy. Keep it moving, Right? And I just, for some reason, want to put out there, I'm a Scorpio and I have a Leo uh, moon. <laughs> I'm, so I'm a pretty fixed chick myself. But at the end of the day, when you're in a twin flame journey, it's something that pushes you along anyway. You don't even really, I mean, you got to put in the work to when you actually get to the podium, be able to speak on what you've learned. But it's another thing to be able to be moved along by the spirit guides. We have that much help, okay? And we'll have help when we're speaking up at the podium. To end his spread, okay, we have the Queen of Cups. He's moving and he's going to that queen of cups. So when I say that, you know, divine feminines watching, you need to be in your queen of cups energy for every reason possible. I'm going to put another link down below this one to the, to the site that I like to go to that I studied from. Okay. Quite some time before I started and began tarot. Okay. I'm going to put that link below and I'm going to direct you right to the queen of cups. And so you can study it and understand why it's not, you know, why you need to be in this energy. It's not corny. It's something that we need to do. It's something that we need to do. If he's moving to the Queen of Cups, if we're not a Queen of Cups, who is he going to? Let's not let's not give anybody blank missions here. Okay? Let's not let the love go in vain. So he's going right to that Queen of Cups. His overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Hermit card. All right. 
as it's looking over, like, okay, imagine you see the card, the lamp is right here. It's looking over the whole spread, but it's his overall energy. So first of all, I want to say to that, if ever there's doubt, there won't be. This is somebody who is um, going off on their own journey. So that the world card is in between the Queen of Cups. There might There's a delay here where this person may need to go get their own mind together. May need to just, I don't know, go to a hotel and make sure that they're seeing the kids every other weekend with the karmic and things like that. There may be a delay. There's a gap here because he's still trying to make sure that everything's balanced. Everything's right. He needs to go to himself. You understand once he left all those people to go in solitude and make sure this is also a prudent card so he's not going to be with anyone in this moment in this time where he's like not there for that gap okay he's not going to be with anyone he's just going to make sure that if anything he has to like see his kids or something but uh, there's a, there's a gap here between the queen of cups but also um this is somebody who may have attachment issues still once they leave they're not able to cut ties so um Maybe it, it, we could say it's in reverse. You know, this is somebody who um, just, or, well, wait. They could be still attached to them, still going to get some loving from them, or they could just um, really shut out everyone and not even go see the kids, not see you, which would make an even more delay, to be honest, and, 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 and hinder the clear path that they are to take. So a lot of things can go on with this hermit card um, being at the bottom of the deck, but at the end of the day, all right, at the end of the day, this, what he's doing, this, his path is very clear to him. And it's something that he wants to do. So that's what matters. So let's go ahead and clarify the six of wands. Let's clarify the six of wands. Oh my gosh, it's like so cold. That's the magician and it fell in reverse. Okay, for the for the um, six of wands. Okay, so it's like while he's going, okay, remember I said he's kind of contradicting these people, letting them think that, oh, yeah, I'm going back home. Oh, yeah, I'm going on my errands. Oh, yeah, you know, everyone that we know, these are her people, say, the people that know them to be with the person that they're with, the karmic, right? Okay, um, you know, but he's really going off to see the divine feminine, and it's like the magician is in reverse. So, okay, he's first of all not inspired by these people. He understands the crock of shit that these people are. But not only that, he may be going blind. He may be very like insecure about how he's. He's like, okay, I'm going, I'm going. That's why that horse, his strength, or but really the horse, the animal is like, are you good? Are you okay? Like, look how sincere she's looking. She's like, you got this, you got this, Papa. You know, and so he's going, and there's that gap between the the Queen of Cups, that World card. He's completing cycles, but once you leave somewhere that you know, somewhere that you were suffering though for so long, somewhere that you were really like, you know, working for so long, it, it, it's tough. We all know that, but the magician is in reverse there. I don't want to move. Um, hold on. Okay, we'll we'll move because I don't. Wanna, I'm not dressed. So this, okay, was in reverse. So he doesn't feel, you know, that prepared, but that's okay. He'll get prepared. It's one step. It's levels. Look, a wish come true right at the top of the card, the nine of cups. It doesn't have to be with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Remember, we all embody this divine feminines, the queen of cups. Let's get one card for the queen of cups. Let's just split open the deck. Boom. The lovers. Love it. Okay. So beautiful. Beautiful. I don't even want to move this card. Okay. But yeah, he's a father. So there's that, you know. Oh, okay, so he's a father and he's built a legacy somewhere. So there's not going to be like a complete cut of the ties or anything like that. But um, he's coming to you. Okay, let's get one advice card for the Divine Masculine and keep it moving. One advice card for the Divine Masculine. Just one advice card, Spirit. One advice card for the Divine Masculine. I don't know what that... Ooh, wee! And she went... Through like she went like that <laughs> and so that's right there we'll leave it right there okay that's your advice <laughs> go get some advice from her go hit her up right now 